that certain molars or wisdom teeth can become impacted. But your canine teeth may also become impacted, requiring surgical treatment. This video tells you more about that treatment. Canine teeth, sometimes referred to as eye teeth, are located between the incisors and the premolars. When these teeth are in a position that will not allow them to enter the mouth, they are said to be impacted. Patients who have impacted canines are generally treated by an orthodontist and an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. As a team, our goal is to bring the impacted tooth down into its proper position so that it is aligned with the rest of the teeth. The American Association of Orthodontists recommends a first patient examination no later than the age of seven, in part so that the orthodontist can monitor teeth coming in, including the canines. Sometimes the removal of a certain baby tooth or making space for a canine tooth avoids the development of an impaction and need for more extensive oral surgery. At times, a canine tooth may actually be uncovered by the oral surgeon prior to the placement of braces. This uncovering can often allow the tooth to grow into the mouth, where the orthodontist will then put a brace on it when the rest of the braces are placed. Finally, there are times where braces are first placed, making space for an impacted canine prior to referral for uncovering by the oral surgeon. Remember though, that these are large teeth, often with the longest roots in the mouth. So to bring a canine into the mouth can literally take months. Treatment of impacted canines is usually a team effort involving both your orthodontist and an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Your orthodontist will refer you to a surgeon who will meet with you to evaluate your individual situation, discuss the procedure, perform certain diagnostic tests, and schedule the surgery. For surgery, it's very important that the mouth be clean. We ask patients to brush and floss their teeth as usual. Ask your surgeon about restrictions on eating and drinking before surgery. Finally, it's best to go to surgery wearing loose and comfortable clothing. Surgery to expose an impacted canine is performed in the oral and maxillofacial surgery office using a local anesthetic or an IV sedation. The procedure generally takes about 45 minutes. During the surgery, the surgeon uncovers the crown of the tooth by removing some of the gum tissue and bone that surrounds it. Depending on the individual case, the oral surgeon may place a dressing over the tooth that will be removed after 10 to 14 days. In other instances, the oral surgeon will bond an orthodontic bracket and gold chain onto the exposed tooth. In both of these situations, the patient will return to the orthodontist to have the tooth repositioned into its proper place in the dental arch. Recovery was very fast. It, it was probably over the weekend. Um, and I know the swelling, of course, was there for a couple days, but overall I felt great. It wasn't as bad as I thought, so that was exciting. We asked patients to return to the oral and maxillofacial surgery office within seven to 10 days after surgery to evaluate the healing process and make sure they are maintaining good oral hygiene. The cosmetic benefit of having a canine in the mouth is that it truly is the cornerstone of the smile. We've all seen people who've lost their upper eye teeth and as a result, the lips appear sunken in and thinned. This prematurely ages the smile in the face. The roots of the canines provide the support for the corner of the mouth and your smile. Of course, I'm not done with my treatment yet, but I know um, the tooth is moving. It is coming down and soon, um, we're going to all have the excitement that that tooth is going to be out and they're going to be able to align it into place and I'm going to have a beautiful smile at the end. The functional benefit of having the canine come in is that it allows the orthodontist to develop normal tooth-to-tooth -tooth relationships. These long-rooted canine teeth take a lot of the chewing pressure and without them, other teeth in the mouth can become overloaded and damaged. To find out more about the surgical treatment for impacted canine teeth, consult your orthodontist or your oral and maxillofacial surgeon.